Nice. I really wasn't expecting it, but this piece might make a really good birdhouse. See the woodpecker hole? Hey, Mom. I am filming something for YouTube right now. The persistence of life is just amazing. We just got our Harvest Right freeze dryer, and let me tell you, this thing was really well packaged. There were actually two boxes strapped together on its own little custom pallet. I've opened it up already just to make sure it was okay before we accepted the shipment. The top box was just extra parts. The machine itself was in the big box before I show you what the machine looks like. Take a look at this extra packaging that they put inside this outside box. They constructed this cardboard box with all kinds of foam padding on it just to make sure it wasn't damaged in shipment. I know Wendy's excited to see this. Wendy was excited about this freeze dryer. It's been going non-stop all weekend. It's kind of noisy in here, so let's go out where it's a little more quiet. Look at all this stuff she's freeze dried. We've got spinach. Hot and spicy oregano, cilantro, kale, parsley, chives, verbena, lemon verbena, lemon thyme, and whorehound. I'm not real sure what whorehound is. Feel free to leave a comment below this video if you know. These jars aren't quite ready yet. Wendy has carefully measured out pancake mix, and we've got blueberries frozen from last year's harvest in the freeze dryer right now. When they're done, we're gonna have super convenient blueberry pancake mix. Nice. I'm finally getting around to giving my dad this firewood. He just uses a lot more firewood than we do. Before I move this stuff though, there's some chainsaw work I need to do in the front yard.
I really wasn't expecting it, but this piece might make a really good birdhouse. See the woodpecker hole? All it needs is a roof and a little perch. I'll need to fine tune some of these angles for the roof though. Are you ready for a car trip to Dad's? Good dog. Mood number one's ready. Load number two is ready. Load number three is ready. The fourth and final load is ready. It did take me more than a day to do this job. Check this out. Persistence of life is just amazing. Here's how that birdhouse came out. I've got it up on our milk stand here, just so we can get a good look at it. I'm calling it the Brothers Grimm Log Round Birdhouse. It just has that look, like it belongs in some creepy fairy tale. The roof is this one really old cedar shingle and a scrap of plywood that was left over from one of my compost bins. These branches don't really make sense. But they're kind of fun and to me they look like they belong with this piece. This is where I think I'll keep the birdhouse. 
a log round birdhouse seems more at home tucked in on the ground rather than mounted high up on a post. I know most birds don't like to nest close to the ground, but really, my birdhouses are more for people to look at than for birds to live in. I wanted to get Winnie's input on camera, but she's a little too tired. She's got another business trip coming up that she's planning for, and was just a little too busy to do it. Those blueberries took longer to freeze dry than we thought, but they came out pretty good. The end of this video was going to be a taste test of those blueberry pancakes. I'll just have to wait for Wendy to get back from her trip to do that. I did try one of the blueberries in its desiccated form, it was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. Hey, Mom. I am filming something for YouTube right now. Is it all right if I give you a call back? Oh, that's fine. That's good. I'll, I'll talk to you then. All right, bye. I did try one of the blueberries in its desiccated form. It wasn't bad. To me, it was kind of like eating some kind of fruity puffed cereal straight out of the box. If you like these videos, please share them with your friends, click the thumbs up, and consider subscribing.